Hi you team, finally got some good weather in Hawke's Bay and um, we've managed to, um, well the boys have managed to get out and have a dive and get some para. So we're going to make some para and um, pork sausages. So I uh, thought I'd show you how to do it. So the, the essential equipment you need is a um, meat grinder, a sausage stuffer and a meat mixer. So the meat mixer is, um, it just mixes all the meat up and extends all the proteins and um, gets a nice um, finish to the meat product. And uh, here's the power we're doing. So it's um, Blackfoot power. Um, in New Zealand you're allowed 10 per person and a minimum size of 120 mil. Right? Um, don't quote me on that, we use a measuring stick. But uh, we chop it up like that. Um, got here our pork um, and we do 50-50. So 50% um, so power, 50% pork and um, some secret herbs and spices and we make a nice um, sausage out of it but um, here we go just uh, cutting up the last power overnight um, I just um, had it in a in a bowl and um, had a saucer uh, at the bottom of the bowl so it allowed the juices to run off the power and um, it just keeps the product nice and fresh and it's quite amazing how much juice you get off 20 power so that's um, how much came off overnight. The trick with doing sausages is keeping everything as cool as you can, um, as long as you can. So we're going to grind the, the pork first, and um, we're going to use a really fine um, grind for that, and then for the power. Um, I like to have a, a good taste of power and something that um, something can really chew on so you know you've got power in there. So we'll use the medium sized grind for that. Um, some pork fat in here as well because every sausage has got to have pork fat. But um, excuse the noise and um, I won't um, show you the whole process. Uh, I'll speed it all up for you but um, yeah it doesn't take that long. <laughs> So we've done our power, um, we're now um, putting our pork into the mixer and we're going to mix that around um, just very gently, nice and slowly. And uh, what we're looking here for is just to um, extend the proteins out so that uh, everything binds quite nicely. We go both ways just to really get it working. This is designed to uh, to hold nine kilograms of meat. So now we'll put our power in. So we've got our power in there as well now. So we'll just mix that around a bit. We'll also put in our um, secret herbs and spices. So remember this is 50-50. 50% 50 power, 50% pork. You can actually um, see the, the meat actually starting to extend. What's always good is to um, fry a bit up and see what it's like. It's looking pretty, um, pretty good there. Where there's a critter. And, um, yeah, we'll have a bit of a taste of that and see what that's like, and the sausages will be. And 
so now what we move to is to the stuffing. So what we need to do is um, use these sausage skins. So um, that's the 19mm sausage skin. So find the end of this. Somewhere here. And we thread it on. So these are natural skins obviously. So um, as I say the sheep's intestines. Um, you can get um, either sheep or um, pig and um, the sheep intestine is the smaller one. So basically what we're making is a chipolata type um, size and um, you know it's ideal for, for power sausages. Um, or I do quite a few venison sausages um, as like a breakfast sausage and they're really good. So that's, that's one skin, so that's on there. And next what we want to do is actually um, lift our little thing up and then we're going to take this off. And we'll get the stuff. Now the trick here is to make sure that, um, that we end up with no air gaps at all. So here we use our um, Use our hands and get it in there and we will really push it down because we don't want any gaps. So you can see it's really sticky and that's the consistency that we want. And we achieve that by um, extending the protein out in the meat and adding um, some uh, water and white wine in this case. And the good thing is, is that there's still big, big bits of power in there. So you know you are actually eating power. So we've already pre-cleaned down our um, bench top. And um, it's all set to go. Fire that into there. And what we'll do is um, just chuck that up on top of that so it doesn't go running off on us. And we're going to take the air through and bring our sausage out to there. I'm going to go for a tie off. And so that's simply it. Now we're going to um, just Start feeding the sausage. You can see those big bits of power in there. Need it to keep it moving reasonably quickly, otherwise um, we can um, overfill the skin. And then when it comes to tying it off, um, that can pose a little bit of a problem. This is actually the quick part. So now we're going to tie our sausages. And simply we go uh, basically a palm length and we give it a turn. Same again and that's how I start. And your next one comes up and you just pop it through like that and give it a turn. And round through Go up to the next link, and you're doing a double link there. Give that a turn. Comes through. Give that a turn there. And up. And so depending on what size sausages you actually want to make. But um, you, you know, with these you want something reasonably sized. And as you, go, as you go over, you just give it a slight turn like that. 
and then through. That's a slightly longer size. It doesn't really matter about um, you know, how long it is. You can do a short one like that if you wanted to. But the key is um, to not have a sausage that's too over full. Otherwise you will really struggle with it. And that's it. Chain linked. Done. Easy as that. And then the idea is to then leave them hanging uh, for at least a day and um, you'll end up with a really really nice um, flavour throughout the whole sausage. So there you have it, 5 kilos of pork and parma sausages done. They'll hang there overnight to allow the flavours to go through the meat and then tomorrow night we'll vacuum pack them into um, meal lots. So there you go team, that's done for the day. Don't forget to like subscribe or comment and um, we'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.